wherever you go, you find concrete. Concrete is everywhere. It has a lot of advantages because it can be used all over the world by unskilled workers and by high-tech companies. It is very flexible, it's very dynamic, and it is the material that builds our infrastructures and our cities. It's a material that can be found all over the world. But concrete also causes a lot of environmental challenges. Cement, the binder of concrete alone, is responsible for about 8-10% of the global carbon emissions. This is not too bad, considering that concrete is about half of everything that human beings consume. But other materials even have a higher carbon footprint, therefore concrete is inevitable. We have to build with it, and concrete is the only material that can be supplied in sufficient amount to meet the global demand for construction materials. And this is particularly of interest for the growing economies in the global south and particularly in Africa. BAM is a federal research institute and it belongs to the Ministry of Economic Affairs and we have a very long tradition, 150 years now, we were founded in 1871. And since then we are working on the safety of structures and materials and technical processes. In the former years, BAM always uh, come into focus by uh, testing materials, but nowadays uh, most of the prominent topics which are in focus of BAM are research topics. And we are also finding out which kind of replacing materials are useful for the sustainability of construction materials. And we are working for a long time on sustainability of materials and especially on concrete. And that's also a reason why we now are active on the African market because we found out that they have the same problems and we have. So they also try to use local materials and bio-based materials. And that's also what we do here in the European market and on the German market. And so there's a fruitful collaboration of the both sectors or the both continents and, and in these projects. PTB is the National Institute for Metrology. Metrology is a scientific term for measurement. This means that uh, PTB in Germany is the highest institution for everything that has to do with measurement. So PTB makes sure that a meter is a meter and that a kg is a kg. But besides being this high institution in the field of measurement, PTB is also one of the implementing agencies for the German Development Corporation. And for almost 60 years, PTB is now implementing projects in the field of quality infrastructure, mostly commissioned by the Federal Ministry for Economic Cooperation and Development. We have a cooperation with BAM since 2012 and it's the beauty in working together being both sister institutions under the Ministry for Economic Affairs and the focus here the, with the cooperation with BAM is with the African countries for now. PTB has a long tradition in working in an African context for a lot of topics and now we found a topic which is concrete sustainability where we came together and, and found that we have common ideas and, and common projects, so we are working together in this context. And since then we have jointly implemented four rounds of proficiency testing and invited representatives of selected African countries to train and to practice the skills in the material testing here in Berlin. African cities are growing at rapid velocity. 13 out of the 20 biggest cities in the world will be on the African continent. Lagos, Dar es Salaam and Kinshasa will have 80 million and more inhabitants in the future. What is interesting, 80% of these future urban cities have not yet been built, which gives Africa an enormous potential to leapfrog old technologies and directly become innovation driver, sustainability driver and leader in technology. More sustainable construction means we have to minimize the overall materials consumption. But it also means that we have to reduce the cement content in concrete and we have to make more efficient use of cement 
by using chemical admixtures, which help to enhance the performance of cement and concrete. This means we have to invent more novel material solutions and we have to invent more, for example, bio-based and more sustainable solutions overall, which require that laboratories work perfectly and share their knowledge. These are the constituents of traditional concrete. We use cement and water to produce strength, but we also use sand of different gradings, for example, like this, or like also coarse aggregates, in order to fill the volume of concrete. However, this is the traditional way of building concrete. In order to become more innovative and more sustainable, we have to use different technologies. We have to replace cement, for example, by using fillers, like this limestone filler, and by using polymers, to reduce the water content in concrete in order to make more efficient concrete. And here, for, for example, we can use calcined clays in order to produce cement replacements. We can grind it to make a filler which looks pretty much like cement. And we can also use industrial wastes, which are used today in order to replace cement. And we can use bio-based fillers such as rice husk ash, which is really good for high-performance concrete. And we can also use cassava in order to replace cement and to produce a chemical admixture. Hey Wolfram, I have something for you. This is normal concrete and this is cassava-based concrete. They have different colors but both the same properties. Which one do you prefer? Well, I think I definitely like this one more because it highlights the colors of the aggregates and if it has the same properties, I think this is really great. And there's much more great things about cassava. You cannot only produce cement out of it, but you can also use the waste starch which is adhered to the peels to produce a super plasticizer. This way petrol-based chemistry can re be replaced and can produce high strength concrete. And not only cassava can do this, also these acacia gums for example can do the same. It's edible. Would you like to try it? No, thank you. Novel construction materials certainly also cause a lot of new challenges to researchers and those who are testing the materials. Particularly because a lot of innovation takes place on the nanoscopic and the microscopic scale. Therefore, a careful assessment of the construction materials is so important because it ensures safety in structures and safety in the built environment. And it can also make construction more sustainable and it can create new livelihoods and new innovation capacities. Therefore, construction materials testing laboratories can become the backbone of positive societal development. Skilled, motivated and well-trained laboratory staff can be driver for innovation to the benefit of the economy and to the benefit of the societies. And that requires international networking. And BAM and PTB are happy to share their knowledge and to learn from their international partners. That is so important to let us grow together towards a better built environment, which is driven by sustainability, by novelty and by innovation. But now with the current situation, we had to be a bit more creative. We cannot, unfortunately, invite the laboratories here. So we bring the laboratories to them and try to create this virtual exchange. So please take a seat. There's enough space for international collaboration.